But I'm not busy discovering exciting new frontiers in YouTube collaboration. We're going to be making slime. You ever see a guy double fist barbasols? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah. I like to answer questions that I get on YouTube, so let's get to it. Actually, this is going to be an Instagram only edition. Electric or acoustic? I think a lot of you might predict that I would say acoustic because most of the videos are acoustic, but that's really only because it's so much easier to record acoustic guitar videos instead of like micing the amp up and stuff like that. So I do play a considerable amount of electric guitar, but I think I'm still going to answer acoustic just because I feel like you can kind of get uh, more of a, like I, I, I usually take like a song based approach to my playing and I feel that you can kind of connect with the song a little bit easier on an acoustic guitar. Uh, that's why I really like the collaborations I do with these singers because I feel like part of the challenge for me is trying to find like the heart of a song. Sometimes I strike out, sometimes I hit it, but uh, really I, I think if I could only have one, I would definitely be more of an acoustic guy just because that's all you really need. It's the most low maintenance instrument really ever made. I'm kind of a low maintenance guy. I like your first couple of videos I checked out. I was going to buy a package, but then this. Well, you are a bit of a condescending prick. Talking about hippies. Oh man, I made a new fan. And then he got kind of salty and he was this close to buying a video package that currently does not exist. But I do think I am probably gonna put together some kind of uh, music theory package, hopefully by the end of the summer, so let me know uh, what questions you guys have. How long have you been playing guitar? I've been playing for 17 years now, which seems kind of insane. How tall are you? Because you seem tall. 6'1". Do you realize you look like Brandon Flowers? Jazzmaster or Jaguar? I think I would have to go Jazzmaster, but I feel like the Jazzmaster isn't really a Jazzmaster, is it? Like, how many jazz guys do you see playing Jazzmasters? And Jazzmaster is such a bold name that I would pick Jazzmaster purely because of the confidence in which it was named, even though really it doesn't seem like the Jazzmaster-ish guitar that we've been promised. But, uh... I don't know. I, I've played a couple Jaguars and they're cool, but they're really just not totally my style. So I'm gonna go with Jazzmaster. Besides the one that pays the best, where is your favorite gig and why? I definitely think the favorite gig that I play regularly is the Western Rooftop, just because it's like on a rooftop. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of cool being on top of a building playing, especially in Florida when the weather's nice and uh, open air. I just think it has a cool atmosphere. It's got a pool up there. So if you're ever at like any of the Westons, I know they do a lot of live music, check it out because usually the Westons are pretty awesome venues. Specifically the rooftop we play at is great. So if you're ever uh, in Florida, come check it out. Favorite musical mode from any scale, major, double harmonic, major, etc. Well, this is actually kind of like what my favorite chord is, which I said F major seven as the four chord. So that would actually mean F Lydian in the key of C would be my favorite mode. So I guess F Lydian it is. But actually, I also answered the question what my favorite key to play in was A major because of the openness on it. So I suppose D Lydian might actually be my favorite mode. D Lydian. D Lydian is the, is the mode of choice. Favorite mode, D Lydian. What is the longest amount of time you have gone without playing guitar? I think it's 10 days, which is like officially right now because I'm in England and I have no guitar here. So I might actually go out and find one. All vests are socially unacceptable and should be met with sterilization, agree? You know, I'll admit it, I had a vest phase uh, when I lived in Las Vegas. Me and a buddy of mine were like vest friends forever, so we would always like rock the vests when we went out to a strip. But uh, yeah, I've since kind of turned on the vest. I think, again, bowing to my, my low maintenance capabilities, a vest, there are different types of vests, of course, a vest is almost kind of like useless as far as a, a utility piece of clothing because usually they're kind of thin. Uh, I think you can get away with some of those padded vests for like a warmth type thing. But I think most of the time when we talk about vests, we're talking about, you know, part of like a, like a three-piece suit or something like that. So I'm not going to go so far as say they're socially acceptable because uh, someday I'll probably will return to the vest. But I am no longer vest friends forever. What was it like riding Guitar Goddess's coattails around the country? I would have it no other way, and hopefully I will continue riding those coattails uh, across the entire nation. I'm watching Scream, so what's your favorite scary movie? This is from Jada. Shout out Jada, what's happening? Uh, favorite scary movie? 
is Army of Darkness, which might not count as a scary movie, but it is because it's awesome. So if you've never seen Army of Darkness, definitely watch that. Fall Out Boy or Panic at the Disco? I always thought this was the same band, and I used to call them Panic Boy, but uh, I, I don't really know. <laughs> Favorite band, Radiohead. How do I learn the cadence of the blues? I love acoustic blues. I think you just have to feel it. <laughs> Who is your fave guitarist? Elliot Smith? Do you listen to Ninja Sex Party? No, because I live it. Name one of your favorite artists. All right, so for this, we're gonna do listening homework and I'm gonna shout out a band who I just discovered last week, Melody's Echo Chamber. They've got a new album out and it is super trippy, but actually super good. And I would highly recommend everybody listen to it. There's a lot going on in the arrangements here and I think they do a really great job. So check that out if you have any questions. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, the YouTube comment section, the website, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.